<laughs> and there we go. No one X fam, Facebook community. Everyone out there, I always thought I'm the coolest guy with the coolest cap, but I'm not today because I'm here today with Matt Wilson. And he, how can I say, he is kind of like a fucking freaking legend when it comes to traveling and the next 20 minutes we're going to talk about traveling we're going to talk about this new book we're going to talk about what it takes to build a company which is based on travel and what it takes to run a company even in times of corona and i want to make sure i'm not talking too much because this one is all about you matt first of all welcome to the show it's great to have you here Thank you very much. I'm uh, jealous of your Indonesian flag that you're wearing on your chest today. It is. It is actually, it is, a, I don't know if you know, it's a Independence Day today. Indonesian in Independence Day. I so, actually know that only because of your Facebook. Oh, so we educate the people out there. Yeah, so we've been on a big bike trip today. And um, yeah, that's why I'm wearing that fucking shirt, bro. Ah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for mentioning it. Um, so go, go Indonesia. Um, yeah, but that, that one here is not about Indonesia. This one is not about me. This one is about you, bro. And you are a, you're a damn fucking legend. What you built over the last few years is very, very legit. Let's start. Let's start like super simple. Let's start with you. Let's start with your story. Tell us a little bit more about yourself, where you're coming from, what's the mission, what's the vision? Sure. So I think a lot of uh, people in your community can definitely relate. I was really hardcore into the startup scene uh, in New York. I just graduated from college. This was uh, around 2010 and uh, yeah, went to, went to school to go into business and moved to Silicon Alley and uh, I you know, found myself in front of my computer for 12 to 14 hours a day and just all caught up in all the hype with venture capital and um, people raising all this money. Uh, most of the products didn't even have real uh, you know, business models behind them. And it was just kind of like, what am I doing here? And uh, living in a tiny apartment in New York and, and all this stuff. And I got invited on a trip to Iceland and I had no idea where Iceland even was on a map, uh, but I accepted and there I was in the North Atlantic Ocean and uh, said, oh my God, like there's a huge world out there. What am I doing in my little bubble in New York where we all think we're the most important people in the world? And uh, that trip to Iceland absolutely changed my life. I had, you know, climbed up this uh, volcano and glacier with a uh, Icelandic, a new Icelandic friend of mine named Siggy. We watched the sunset at like, I don't know, midnight or something over uh, this big volcano. Sorry, my Icelandic is not that great, but uh, I it correctly. And uh, just kind of had this epiphany. Wait a second. I'm paying all this money to live in New York. Why can't I do, I could do this anywhere from my computer. I already had an online business. So that was it. I was, I was out. So. That, that, that sounds that, you know, you know what I like the most about this story is like every time when I ask that question, what may you go out of your comfort zone? People are always like, oh, you know, like I went to, I went to Bali, I went to Hawaii, I went to, to, you know, like to Chiang Mai, to, to Medellin, but no one ever told me before I went to Iceland. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> so that's, I, I love, I love that part of the story. So you went to Iceland and you figured out that's not the way you want to live. What happened next? Well, after that, so standing on that same uh, volcano uh, or standing on a glacier and looking out at the volcano, rather, um, just kind of, I, I was just talking uh, to Siggy and Iceland is actually a startup hub and uh, it, a lot of very smart people there. They just come out of the financial crisis. So a lot of people were you know, very educated in business and they said, okay, we need to build real sustainable businesses here. And they had a conference called the Startup Iceland Conference. And 
I was talking to this guy, Siggy, who was had a tourism business um, after the, the volcano erupted in 2010 that stopped all the air traffic. People came to Siggy because he was on the rescue team and said, hey, can you take us up to the volcano and show us this, this volcano that's erupting? And so he started his business in tourism and he was very entrepreneurial minded and really inspired me to say, we just started talking and I, he wanted to attract more Americans to come to Iceland. And I had a, a very large following uh, on a blog called under30ceo.com, which started with a really good friend of mine, Jared O'Toole. And I said, well, wait a second, we could probably bring people to this conference and then we could do kind of a retreat after in, in Iceland. And after that, we, we pulled it off. Everyone had a great time and people started asking, well, do we have to be under 30? Do we have to be a CEO? Can't we just come to Iceland? And the, the feedback that we got was like, we don't really care to talk about business there. We just wanted to hang out and organically have a good time and build those relationships, build those friendships, or go on a vacation. And so we said, oh, okay. And so we started under 30 experiences and made it very open and inclusive community rather than an exclusive community. And uh, it, it took off since then. I, I, I absolutely love it. And um, I think like we've been introduced to our good friend, Mark. And I remember when he sent me a video and he was like, you know, like you got to check out that guy called Matt and he does this under 30 year experience. And I was like, oh, my gosh, it's another one, you know, like it's like one is <laughs> another one who's, who's selling the dream. But then I watched your video and then I did my homework and I, I, I researched about you and I was literally like pretty much overwhelmed. But this is why we're here today, because I was like, fuck me, man, this guy is legit. So before we want to drop into what you're doing now, I want to know a little bit more about this on the third year experience. Why did it come to that point and why did you even set it up? I mean, you, you mentioned it a little bit, but I know it's a big part of your story. So can you enlighten us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. So like I said, I had an online business and we built it to low six figures in revenue. And so it was enough to uh, support a couple guys and uh, an admin and uh, all this and, you know, enough money to travel and be free and in your, especially in your early 20s or your mid 20s, uh, that's a pretty amazing thing. Yeah. And so somebody in Iceland said, Hey, I, actually, they had a business in Costa Rica and said, I bring students down there to go on these renewable energy trips. And I thought, okay, I, I don't know anything about renewable energy, uh, but it sounds interesting. Uh, I'll come down to Costa Rica. And they said, Yeah, come down for, for a week, stay with us. I said, okay, yeah, I think I'll maybe book a month down there. And so after Iceland, I uh, came back through New York, packed up my apartment, put my stuff uh, back in my parents' house. And I said, okay, let me go down to Costa Rica. And I said, oh, this could be a place for another under 30 experience. Mm -hmm. And so it just kind of started snowballing. The next trip that I took was actually out to Indonesia. Uh, I was in Jakarta for like two weeks at, at more, it was still business oriented. And then we went to Bali after that. And my mind was just blown, just the, the culture. And um, so I had just started practicing yoga at that point. And I'd like to serve, oh, wait a second. I am never going back to New York. <laughs> get this. And uh, so anyway, it was really a, an excuse, if you will, to be able to travel for myself personally uh, and, and do all the things that I, I was being connected with being in nature, outdoors, etc. But then also looking back at my friends in New York who were all just chained to their desks and, you know, we would go just caught up in the dating scene. We would go to the same bars and have the same conversations and it just kind of got to be the, the rat race. And uh, right. yeah, it just wasn't for me, but I thought, wait a second. I need a, a community of people who like to travel. And mm -hmm. that's where the idea kind of took off is we should be a travel community, not just a travel company. And that's when 
you know, I, w I went ever, anywhere I could go that I thought would be cool to bring people. I started to travel to and designing the trips, tasting the food, uh, testing out the acti activities, optimizing the itineraries. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it caught on from there. Awesome, man. Awesome. What a story. I, I absolutely love the way you put it out there. So switching, uh, not switching, changing gears a little bit, but not even much. You just decided to write a book about traveling, calling it the Millennial Travel Guidebook. How crazy can one person be to release a book in a time like now, which is about traveling. Tell me more about that project, bro, oh. because I'm absolutely fascinated about, about what's going on in your head. Yes, uh, a lot going on in my head. And look, so since that story from 2010, 2012, until now, 2020, you know, we built a $5 million a year business. And so we're like, okay, yeah, really excited. And then in January, we started hearing about this weird thing going on in China and then spreading to Italy and then starting to come to New York and across Europe, etc. cetera. Um, so just, no, just note by the side, sorry to interrupt you. So Under 30 Experience became a five, million a, a, a 5 million a year company? Yes, between 2012 and 2019. So we grew very awesome, fast. Uh, we awesome. One, Inc. Magazine's 5,000 fastest yeah. growing companies in America. That's what I wanted to hear because that's where you are. Fast fucking growing companies uh, on, <laughs> on, many, on, many, on many different, uh, on many different medias. Sure Congratulations, Congratulations with that. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, ooh, awesome. And all that's great. Where you really get tested is during a crisis when, right. of course, nobody at this point is really accepting U.S. passports. We can go to Mexico, right. Mexico. and uh, I keep focusing, of course, on, on the U.S. because that's where our audience mainly is um, focused. So our trips are shorter trips for people who are usually behind their desks and so mm. want to go places between five and maybe our, our longest trip is 14 days um, mm -hmm. but to answer your question so of course we had our really it's a really difficult time right now for the travel industry we're basically shut down uh, almost through the end of the year so right. we had to do some things quickly one is we're still allowed to travel within the United States, uh, mm -hmm. but we wanted to figure out how we do this in the best way possible. Uh, it's of course travel right now is not for everybody in the US, uh, but if you wanna to go to a national park and try to maintain your social distancing and um, get out away from people, then you know that's something that there is a large group of young people uh, that are still interested in doing. So we just quickly designed all these US national park places, uh, destinations for people to go. Uh, a lot of these trips are now even pushed into 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, but I've been sitting on this book that I was going to release in March. And here it is August. I'm like, well, uh, honestly, it's a slow time. Uh, we have plenty of time to work on it and market it. So I said, let's just get it out there uh, right now. The travel industry is pretty quiet, so there's not a lot of competition for me. To, I'm not competing with other companies and product launches and all of this stuff. Travel bloggers and podcasters need somebody to talk to and something to, to talk about since most of them are not traveling right now. So I said, you know what? This book is more about life and the kind of the philosophy that I, I really just explained about how we spend our time, how we spend our money. And then it gets into actionable tips, finding the best combinations, flights, you're selecting your travel style, of course, things on sustainability, um, you know, travel hacking, that stuff your, your right. audience knows a lot about. But I just kind of said, sorry, but fuck it. I'm going to put it out there and I know it's good. So it'll get out there eventually. And um, so sometimes you just got to think of Seth Godin who just says push. You just got to push it out. And yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens next. Uh, I think it's really, really brave 
but I think like that's the way to go because you, you just released a book which is all about traveling in a time where no one travels right now based on the actual world situation. What does traveling mean to you? It's about getting out and having new sights, new sounds, new sensations, uh, new experiences, uh, thinking, being able to see how people live in a different way, interacting authentically with the people of a place. Um, it's just getting more experiences, pushing myself a little bit out of my comfort zone. So mm -hmm. that's the type of thing we try to get people to do on our trips with under 30 experiences. And that's what I wanted to do with the book is encourage people to live a, a little bit more adventurous life. And of course you can read the book and start planning for the future, even if we can't get on a flight right now and go internationally. Right. Definitely. Definitely. I, and I definitely agree with you. And this is why this is pretty much exactly why I love the project so much, because I think like it's about inspiration. It's about taking people on a journey. Even if you can't go on the journey right now, it's about preparing for what's coming next. And that's what I love most about your mindset, because we know there is there, there's going to be a next chapter. We don't know if it's going to be in three months. Maybe it's going to be in six months or maybe it's going to take us a year, but we will start traveling again. And that's why I think it's, it's, it's so amazing that you release that book right now and that you take all these people and you are inspiring, you know, like you are like taking the oldest people on their journey. What do, what could people expect? Um, by the way, Nomad X community. And I see we got a decent amount of people dropping in and out of that live stream. I dropped the link to the book in the comments. So you should make sure not to miss out on that. But what can people expect when they get your book? So uh, like I mentioned, there's going to be plenty of practical tips and the travel hacks and everything that I know from a, a decade of, of traveling, which uh, of course is very valuable. So the subtitle of the book is Escape More spend less and make travel a priority in your life. Uh, but really the part about making travel a priority in your life, I address, hey, how to get over your fear of, of sure, it could be leaving your little bubble or your le little comfort zone. Uh, a lot mm -hmm. of stuff about how we're spending our time and looking at that, uh, how we're spending our money and addressing that, optimizing your life to be able to do more things that you love instead of just falling into the, the normal rat race. Uh, and I know I'm probably preaching to the choir here with your, uh, with your art audience, Ali, but um, I think people uh, are really gonna enjoy, of course, there's a little bit about the story of how we built the company in there and um, just trying to spread a good message to people because travel, absolutely changed my life and through our community under 30 experiences you know we've had 5,000 plus people who have traveled now with uh, our company and seeing them make positive changes in their life uh, yeah. that's that's the coolest thing and so uh, just being more culturally aware right now is so important with all that's going on in the world and uh, you know, such a focus on sustainability because after coronavirus, you know, we got we, we got climate change, right? To, to keep <laughs> combating. I mean, we got a lot of stuff going on in the world. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I just want people to to open their minds uh, as much as possible. And so, this this is uh, hopefully the guidebook uh, to allow them to do that. You're on Amazon with that book at the moment, right? Uh, it already become an Amazon bestseller. That's what I've seen. So, bro, congratulations to that. Very, very well done. So, guys, I would highly, highly recommend to get that book. And we're not talking about any uh, affiliate deals we're doing here or anything like that. How much is the book at the moment? The book is only 99 cents on Kindle. So I, I know. I was like, what? What? It's like, it's like literally for free right is 99 cents and it's 
from someone who really, really knows what it takes out there. Um, so guys, drop in. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna watch that review. So drop in, I drop the link here in the comments. Check out that book. That's what, definitely what you wanna go for. And in this case, Matt, and we kind of like already running a little bit towards the end and we're already on 20 minutes and I always promise to keep that down to 20 minutes, but we're, there are so many things we have to talk about. Matt, first of all, thank you very much. Thank you very much for doing what you're doing because I think you're a massive, massive inspiration and I'm super, super grateful that we've been connected uh, a few weeks ago and that I have you here on that live stream. What can we expect next from you? What are your plans? this book of course to, to spread uh, to people and we have a very large comeback we need to make in 2021 with uh, under 30 experiences and yeah we just want to keep doing what we do and enjoy it uh, of course I, I just had a daughter and um, so congratulations to that thank you we're about to go on our first trip as a family uh, we're going Ooh. up to Colorado to the Rocky Mountains and uh, so we'll see how a four month year old does in the backseat of a car and um, <laughs> yeah we just want to keep keep traveling and and being free and encouraging other people to do the same Awesome, bro. Absolutely love it. I think you are pure inspiration by doing what you're doing. And thank you very much again for bringing all this value to the community, but also to the whole world and writing books about your experiences and, and be who you are. Because I think there are so many people out there, they want to learn from you and they should go on that journey with you. So Nomad X family, if you have any questions for Matt, and I know a lot of you people are watching the review. Just drop all of them here in the comments. We're going to make sure all of them are getting answered. We already had some really cool comments about inspiration in here. We're going to release them later on after the stream. In this case, Matt, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, as I said before, we have the link to your book in the comments. And um, I can't wait. I mean, I've been in a little bit in a lucky position because I got it. I even saved that 99 cents because I got it for free and I've <laughs> scraped my way through it. And it's a really, really, really cool book. So guys, go for it. Matt, thank you very, very much for being here today, for taking the time. And I wish you all the best and looking forward to our paths crossing somewhere around the world. Ali, I I'm so excited. Yeah, thank you so much. And hopefully uh, it's there in Indonesia. And as they say in Bali, Suksama. Suksama. Thank you so much, bro. Talk soon. Bye-bye.